just see this little schist right here? This is andesite. Andesite is an exclusive igneous rock. It has little crystals called phenocrystals. And that's it. This is calcrete. Calcrete is calcium carbonate. You will only see calcrete where the top part of the soil has eroded away. In order to transport grain from Hayden's Mill, a rail line was constructed. They blew up the cement-like calcrete and created a cut. This is more than two meters thick. The only place in North America with a thicker accumulation is in Texas. This took more than 100,000 years, maybe millions of years to form. Andesite covers the mountaintop, hiding the sedimentary strata and rhyolite below. It is layered like a cake. The, the tilted sedimentary rocks are called the Tempe beds. They consist of layers of sandstone and shale. So the andesite pretty much is on the top part of the mountain and it's like tilted sideways. So a mountain has a tilt and then below that is a sedimentary strata and underneath that is rhyolite. These are pot shirts from the Hohokam people. They are made of clay and they've been here forever. They're from the Hohokam people. Petroglyphs are carved into a natural rock coating called varnish. These petroglyphs right here, they're carved by the Hohokam people. They inhabited this mountain forever ago. And they decided to share their little drawings with us. Wow, look at that. That's talus. Talus is a pile of colluvium rock. Colluvium rocks and talus forms when rocks fall and topple downhill. These are made by men building on the mountain. Interesting, isn't it? You wanna see something cool? This right here, it's called colluvium. Colluvium are sharp or angular rocks. They're sharp, they have angles. It's a cute angle. See, this is also an ancient petroglyph brought to us by the Hohokam people. It appears to be a palm tree or it kind of looks like a turtle almost, but I don't think turtles inhabited this place. So maybe it's a palm tree. Maybe it's a spider. Maybe it is a turtle. Maybe it's an alien. We'll never know. The indigenous people who lived on this mountain, the Hohokam, created matates to grind their grains on in the rock. See right here? This one over here. And if you come this way, we're gonna travel. There are also some embellishments in the rock. Like there's one right here. There. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, we can't stop them. Can you find the fault line? I'll help you. It's right here. This is the fault line. They're not really sure which direction goes up or down, but it's kind of everywhere. Like me. Take a little look, see over here. This over here is alluvium. It's the opposite of colluvium. They are rounded rocks instead of angular rocks because over time, being run through water and tumbling down to mountains, they come around. Mud cracks. Mud cracks everywhere. These mud cracks have been preserved for over 20 million years. They've been preserved so well because of volcanic erup eruptions from the superstitious mountains. And they pretty much filled in the mud cracks and preserved them. They settled and now we have this beauty. What a beaut, Tempe beaut. is at 1,398 feet while the base is at 1,150 feet. 